What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Farid and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about none other than the World Mobile Token. If it's your first time hearing about WMT or the World Mobile Token Project, they're going to be a decentralized mobile network building on Cardano. The network aims to allow resource providers the ability to earn the WMT token by connecting the world through a shared economy. As a part of this video, we're going to be talking about how the WMT project works, how you can participate in some of the key benefits, as well as the latest progress from the team. Before we jump into today's content, if it's your first time stopping by, my goal here is to provide you guys in the Cardano community with the latest news, tutorials, and reviews when it comes to the top projects within the Cardano ecosystem, with the World Mobile Token project being one of them. If you appreciate these types of videos, then make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments about the WMT token or any other projects covered on this channel, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Jumping into how the World Mobile Token Project works, we're going to talk about how you can actually use the platform as well as how you can earn by hosting an Air node, an Earth node, or an Ether node. As a customer of the World Mobile Platform, you'll be able to pay for phone calls, text messages and data using your local currency which will all be driving revenue for the platform all while earth node operators as well as stakers earn rewards by processing network transactions and providing services to their customers in addition to that the world mobile platform aims to use all of its customers funds in order to purchase additional world mobile tokens from the open market and then they'll plan to redistribute that amongst the earth node operators as well as their stakers one thing to keep in mind about the supply of the w WMT token is that it's fixed even as the network grows, therefore increasing the value of the token over time. I also want to note that this particular network will be different than traditional networks in the sense that it'll be powered by aerostat balloons hovering at a height of between 300 meters all the way to 1000 meters. On top of that, these particular balloons will be tethered to the ground and in case of emergency, in terms of weather situations, they can be brought back down or moved over to a separate location. The aerostat balloons will also carry a payload in the form of 3G, 4G and 5G transmitters. On top of that, they will also be powered by solar energy and they'll also support direct power feeds. As I mentioned earlier, there's going to be a few different ways that you can earn the WMT token. If you're a staker, you can actually purchase the tokens on an open market and then stake that on the WMT vaults. In addition to that, you can also run a node and there's actually going to be three different types of node, which we're going to review in just a second. The first type of node that's going to be used within the world mobile network is going to be referred to as an earth node. And simply put, this is going to be a computer with an internet connection that's used to secure the network and process transactions on the the Cardano blockchain. The second type of node that's available within the WMT network is referred to as an air node. This is going to be a tower providing local connectivity while also providing the ability to charge devices. At the time of shooting this video, the World Mobile Token has officially reached their goal of installing more than 225 of these air nodes in Zanzibar of Africa. The third type of node that's available within this network is referred to as an Ether node. And simply put, this particular type of node is bridging the gap between traditional infrastructure and the new World Mobile Token network. And so again, it allows for some of these older telephone systems to communicate with what could be the future. If you're looking to earn the WMT token passively through staking, you can do so through the use of the WMT vaults, which will allow for you to securely manage your nodes, track your rewards, and stake your WMT tokens in a non-custodial wallet. When it comes to the tokenomics of the World Mobile Network, there's going to be a hard cap of 2 billion tokens. That said, the WMT token will be the governance token for this platform, and we're going to see about 30% of the total allocation of tokens going towards the node operators and stakers with an additional 18% going towards operations funds, with another 18% going towards the co-founders of the project, and then an additional 10% being allocated for their public sale, which concluded in early of 2022, and then an additional 8% going towards partnerships. That is going to wrap it up for today's introductory look at the World Mobile Network and exactly how they plan on bringing connectivity throughout the entire world. Now that said, if you guys want to find out more about this particular project, they are available throughout different social media platforms, which include Telegram, 
Twitter, Discord, Reddit, and YouTube. And so I'm going to go ahead and leave the links to all of their socials down in the description below. And if you guys found this video to be helpful, then please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, then make sure to leave those down in the section below. I will see you guys in the next video.